Okay, I'm speeding. Okay. Ready when you are. Yeah, we were speeding. Those like vibes to get us in the, you know. Do we have a license for that? Can we use that? Uh, it was on Instagram, so I'm taking it that it's free for everyone! Sweet. Another Tech Tuesday! <laughs> now we gotta do something more normal. What's a good intro? More normal? Is that a word? Yeah, that's a word. More normal. Are you using this for a different week? We're filming. We changed, bro. I had to change. Oh, wait. We didn't change. I don't know if we changed. Whatever. It's fine. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to another Tech Tuesdays. We got a sweet box from the company LoomCube. They make a bunch of lights and cool little gadgets to illuminate your life. But and all we got was the box. So there's nothing actually in here <laughs> that will illuminate, um, unfortunately. So if you don't like boxes, another video. Just kidding. <laughs> LoomCube, I've been working with them for years and they've Actually, I think they started out with these little block lights, and then you just made my look at that. That was good. That was pretty rough. Um, and they've expanded into making panel lights to these sweet little puck lights. Uh, they make drone attachment lights, and uh, you've probably seen some of their stuff like on surfboards. They attach them to the bottom of surfboards. They're waterproof. Um, but yeah, awesome company, and they wanted to see our thoughts on this studio kit. So I said, send it our way. We'll rip it open. This one. So yeah, they have a travel um, panel light kit. It's got a handle. Oh, look at that. Fun. So I've never, I don't know what these things are. This is the first look, and um, yeah, let's dive into them. So let's see. Comes with two. Now so you guys can see what it okay. says in the back. Okay, so it's edge lit. So it's kind of like some panels that we used to use back in the day. So it should. What's edge lit mean? So that means that the LEDs are like around the edge. So instead of the LED facing outwards, like you typically see in any of these lights that we're using, mm -hmm. the the LEDs point in, and then they bounce off the center and create just this nice soft hmm. light. You lose intensity. So they're not going to be as bright as some of the other things, but it'll be nice, soft, even light across the More pack. even and less like harsh and direct. Yeah. Um, so Which we like, haven't seen. Uh, we haven't seen lights like this like recently. I wouldn't say that there's a lot of edge lit lights out nowadays. Hmm. Most of them are direct. So who knows? We'll dive into them. Maybe it's some new technology. Oh. Yeah. Looks like you're going 3200 to 5600. So not an insane range, but definitely like your most practical of what you'd need. It's great. It's got a screen. It comes with a bag, looks like. Yeah, it looks like. So we got stu two studio panels. Does it come panels. with lights now? I don't. Well, I, inside the box, Charles. There you go. So it comes with two studio <laughs> panels, two barn doors, two angle mounts, two light stands, two remote controls, Just two one. AC, one remote control, two AC powers, one travel bag. Great. Boom. Loom cube, all in one. It's a thing. Can we open it? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Come on. I've been waiting weeks. Yeah, it's actually been waiting. That sounded weird. All right, there we go. Yeah, throw it. Feels good. You throw <laughs> shit. Huh? It does. Oh, okay. First, first impression. Love the bag. And when you open it up, it looks like your two panels are just like front and center. That's pretty sweet. So I'm not sure, I'm guessing it that these have a built-in battery? No, that's in you could have. Oh, maybe it does. Like built-in power and then... Wait, we need the box back that we threw. We're throwing stuff. <laughs> we always throw stuff early. That's a common thing here. It says no batteries. Wait, hold on, what is it? It said something about battery up here, didn't it? Oh, built-in rechargeable batteries. Yeah, so it does. You're so right. It did. Um, seems pretty, pretty durable. I mean, the barn doors feel a little flimsy, but for the most part, like for, it's more lightweight than anything. So here's the thing that's silly, is lights like this, like super soft light panels, mm -hmm. or super, super soft is super the word. soft LED lights. These barn doors are doing nothing for you. It's not like a, like a Fresnel lens that you can like, focus in and then cut the barn door, like use the barn door to like cut the light Holy off of stuff. It. 
it's a soft light. And something that's this close to a soft source isn't gonna do anything except for make it like less bright, dims it down. So you could maybe dim half of the light off of something, but you're not gonna be able to fully cut it. Yeah, so like, as far as I'm concerned, a barn doors on a soft light is there to protect it <laughs> when you drive. Otherwise, and two light stands. So they do come with light stands. That's yeah, I was about to say, so it looks like LumQ made their own light stands and right off the bat, I am very impressed. That's pretty sweet. Definitely feels a little bit better quality than like your average little 350 light stand. For a so, while. 350 for the, for the kit. Yeah, for the kit. Oh, for the for kit. The full kit. That's, all that. That's a pretty good deal. So for $350, well, we'll, I guess we'll see if it's a pretty good deal. We're going to see, but. Oh, here's some instructions. Boom. Those open up. And here's that other one. And I will say, I mean, the barn doors make it feel like a professional light, but. Wait, does that. Oh, weird. I don't like, I hate it when companies like screw the light into the stand. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I was missing a part. That's a feature. Yeah, yeah let me take this off. Rewind. Woo. But I agree, something like a quick release so you're not sitting here doing this on set. Yeah. And try not to like de-thread it or something. Yeah. But even then, like this is kind of rubbish. Like normal light stands, people. Normal, normal light stands. Just give me a normal. I don't even. My brain's not working right a now. A baby pin. A, ba a baby pin receive baby receiver. Whatever, whatever size that is, because I can't think of it right well, now. Now you're doing the same thing. Yeah, so it's just, just another screw it in. But at least you can tilt it down. So my definitely biggest critique on something like that is when I'm buying lights, which you can buy a baby pin receiver that just sits into there and fix the problem yourself. Yeah, but, but it should, it come, should with come with something like that. In yeah. Open. Okay. Well, oh, should we see if the battery comes charged? On. Is it bright? It comes fully charged. Hey, that's pretty nice. That's awesome. And I mean, it's it's decent. That's a, that puts off quite a bit. It's very soft though. Like you were saying earlier. Like yeah, so here that right in my eyes, that. I wasn't like, ah. Let me dim that down. So you can see this is what edge lit is. So the LEDs are up around the edge here and they're shining this way into the center and it just creates this nice, super even source, which suffers the brightness though. So like, as far as intensity goes, like it's okay if you're close, but like the second I get away from scooter, it falls off real fast. Um, so right off the bat, as soon as I saw that LoomCube released these, I reached out to them and I thought this would be perfect for running around and like needing a light on the go. Sometimes like during movies, we need a running gun rechargeable, like sometimes you don't want to be dealing with batteries and all that. So if like you're doing interview stuff, you can easily just get like a little handle and use it as like a little like hand light and be able to just hold it and do stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty much a bigger version of their little panels we have of theirs. Yeah. Okay, so Breaking. on the back you have your uh, plug-in to charge it. You have a power switch. You have your color um, dial, and then also your brightness dial here on the back. And then that's pretty much it. It's very basic. And for being a battery power, I wonder if it's brighter with plugged it. in versus not plugged in. Real nope, little. it's the same. I see, you're, you're ahead of me. Yeah. But it does charge it at the same time that it is being uh, powered on, which is also pretty cool. Uh, and I, what kind of power source is this? What does it say? The kind of power is it? Well, no, there's certain kind of power. I know they make everything as far as power. 100%. So you could easily run like a gold mount onto one of these and power it that way to run it all day. So yeah. you're not limited to the built-in battery on these lights, but if you need a runoff set, like quickly pop this off, 
and run with it uh, for a walk and talk or something, you have that ability. So that's where these, like, right off the bat, I was like, that's a sweet little light we could throw into our kit. Yeah. This is a remote control. I mean, like, a lot of these, like, affordable lights are coming with remote controls, and, like, I, I don't necessarily like it. I'm never gonna use that, which it's great that you send it, but you know where I see this being used is if you were to use these as like a streamer. So if you had these like mounted in the corner of your rooms and you had like your PC or something and you didn't want to like get on top of your desk to get up behind them and click them on. You I'll get that. You could I'll have something that. like this in a drawer and then like just flick them on. Yeah. Cause I think they're gearing more towards like streamers and people using this like at, at home studio kind of thing. Which if that's the case, I totally see the benefit of these lights. They're very affordable. And in that situation, there'd be more than a, than bright enough uh, in that setup. I think we were even saying, we were doing some Zoom meetings and um, our lighting wasn't perfect. And instead of getting out like the full studio lights, just having a quick, easy light that you could throw by your webcam, by your computer would be pretty nice. And I mean, I feel like the ring lights are overdone. Everyone's seen the ring light that you can do, but. Yeah, I like these. I mean, I would say that this is on par and probably in direct competition with Corsair's lighting setup for streamers. I think it costs around the same. The only difference is that Corsair's like plugs into the computer and you can control it through IQ. But I think I put the batteries in the wrong way. They're very durable though. Like this plastic is bomber. It doesn't like flex a ton. Like it feels really good. So that they're rad. I kind of like them. Nice little light. The only thing uh, that I'm not gonna get super technical. Oh, there we go. Is, and I don't know if it reads on camera, is the CRI of these. I don't know what it, what they claim on their website, if they claim anything, but I can already see that there's green. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but I can see it. You can see it in this too. A little bit of tint. There's a little bit of green. What would you call that? Inside of it. Uh, so LEDs, not all LEDs are <laughs> created equal. It's part of the reason why airy sky panels, for example, cost so much is because they literally go through every single LED that's on there and make sure that it meets their CRI and SCI or SSI. I don't want to look up what the other one is, um, but they go through and test every single one. And if it doesn't meet their qualifications, they toss it. So you're saying it's almost impossible to have two lights be the exact same, kind of like it's uh, impossible to have two camera sensors be the exact same? Basically, yeah. Like do you, they'll get real close and as far as lights go, like it's close enough, right? And versus camera sensors, you totally kind of have to match. And do that with cameras, did not know that with lights. So. It's, it's very, very the same. And there's a lot of companies that are out there that are trying to do better in that. Uh, like make sure that their all the colors match across all their lines. Hmm. But again, there's a higher cost that goes into that because you're throwing stuff away that you bought. And that just goes back to the end user, us, and we have to pay for those in the end. So all in all, going through this site, does it have your stamp of approval, Charles? Yeah, I would use it. To be honest with you, for what it's for, I would totally use these. They're rad. Yeah, I'd say for price point and for what you're using them for and what you're getting out of the light, it definitely has my stamp of approval. See ya. Um, awesome. Well, thank you, Loomcoop, for sending us these lights. We're definitely going to use them on set. You guys will see these lights in behind the scenes and probably on a lot of our productions. See ya.